morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as with every video this week, I'm going to be vlogging a day in my life as a PhD student with four jobs, including my PhD, so that you get a sense of how I maintain work-life balance, working 60 hours a week across four jobs, and hopefully you'll get a sense of that this week. So this morning I just went out for a run, so I got up at 7 did a little bit of stretching, like the littlest bit of stretching, and went for a run, which is a new addition to my routine. It's very, very new for me. I have taken a while to get to this point. I have been exercising this year, and I finally feel like I'm at that place now where I can start running. My PhD thesis is around machine learning applications in sports science, particularly for marathon running. Now, I don't think I'm going to be going to do a marathon anytime soon, but I am happy to be kind of getting into the running as part of that. And my body is just not made to run. <laughs> I have very, very flat feet and that really affects my hips. So when I run, I end up with like pain in my hips and I also have exercise induced asthma. So definitely not made to run. Um, but I have gotten some custom orthopedics which are insoles to help with the fact that my feet are flat so that I'm not running directly onto the insides of my feet but it kind of forces me to use more of my foot. Um, the problem I've been having with those is that they tend to make my foot slip out of my runners which means I've been getting really bad blisters so all in all it's not been a great experience although this morning which was my second outdoor run so far. I did another one last Tuesday. I ran the majority of 3.8 kilometers with a couple of very brief stops at like lights and at the top of hills. So I'm pretty happy with that because like I've never run 5K in my life and I think I'm pretty much nearly there. I don't know how long it would be till I can do it completely continuously, but my goal would be to get to a 10K park run kind of thing. So yeah, it's been going well so far. Then I just obviously showered because I was disgusting and got ready. I haven't had any breakfast yet because I'm still not hungry and I try not to eat breakfast too early if I'm not hungry. So I just finished editing yesterday's video and it's now exporting so I figured I would have a little chat to use while I'm waiting. And then I'm just going to get that uploaded and then I'm going to head into my university campus. I say I will be in for 9.30 which is a little bit later than usual because the class that I usually have on Tuesdays from 9 to 11 has finished. So I can afford to go in a little bit later. I'll still be able to get a good three hours of work done before meeting my supervisors at 12.30. All in all, should be a pretty good day. I feel like you saw a lot of this day in a recent video that I posted, but I didn't really talk to you much in it. So I feel like it'll be a bit different.
so I have transitioned into the drama school office. Welcome, welcome for the afternoon. I had a chat with my supervisors earlier today and we just sort of planned out some of the work for next year in a way. So talking about which conferences to go for and I had really high hopes of getting to try for a few big conferences but it seems like they don't feel like that's a good idea and that I should just be focusing on my thesis. So that's kind of hard because I definitely find the idea of going to conferences quite motivating. So I have to still hope that if I get my thesis done in time, I can still go to the conferences. I just might may not have any publications for them, which is okay. We can deal with that. So I'm going to really, really try and focus on my thesis for the first couple of months and we'll see like if I end up getting way ahead then perhaps some workshop papers at some of the bigger conferences will be an option and I'm going to try really hard to not let that demotivate me but we also had a great conversation about thinking about the future of postdoc options and I'm feeling good about the potential staying on after my PhD to continue my PhD work in a way. So continue in the same line of research for another year, perhaps. And yeah, feeling good about that. I'm here now having a another decaf coffee and just do, about to do a little bit of admin work before my one-on-one -on -one start. So I have two teen one-on-ones for drama performance work and then I have some kids online for that same kind of work for half an hour and then I have some adults in their group teaching diploma class but tonight I just have a one-on-one -on -one for their performance work so I'm actually going to be able to finish up a little bit early tonight when usually I would finish up here at 9 30 p.m having started work this morning at 10 a.m well, I suppose starting work earlier than that, if we consider editing the video um, that went up today. Yeah, and then after Christmas, this class will be going on till 10 p.m., which is even later. So that is going to be quite a work day. But I felt like I've had a really good day so far. Going to the office is always nice because I get to see other PhD students and it's good to see my supervisors as well. And I, like, even though me and Jack won't get to spend much time together, I think because we live together now, any time we get to spend together. It's like just putting little bits in a piggy bank of shared time. So having the little bit of time when we were talking after my run this morning and the little bit of time when we're gonna be chatting before we go to bed this evening. think about is oh can you hear me there yeah the one thing that we need to think about is when you close the door then we probably need to consider that Zara is going to be up at a window you know up up above maybe a little bit away from where the door was you know it could be further down on the house so we need to consider where we're going to put Zara and then also which window you're going to try and get to to get into so that probably needs to be on the other side maybe and um, so you might need to like walk around yeah yeah so like if if the door is here and Zara is like up here um above to the right or something if the window then that you tried to get into could be around the back of the house and that way you could sort of sneak around um, a little bit first and then climb up so that's just one thing we need to add in um, but overall, that's very good. So I think definitely the job will be starting to learn that now. I'm just getting up to the second part. The second part isn't quite quite as long. Um, so if you just, you can just read that while it's there. So you've just arrived into the room there. Hello. 
I am just home from the evening. A long day of work. It is 9.30. Usually I get home about 10 p.m. on a Tuesday. So even getting home like half an hour early is great. And I'm just going to make some tea and then edit today's vlog. I still have a lot of energy. So I think that's just going to help me wind down. Jack should be home any minute now. And we usually just watch stupid videos together on a Tuesday evening um, before getting up pretty early tomorrow, which you will see, hopefully, if I manage to get up. Today was a pretty nice day. I um, really enjoyed being in university and then I had my teaching hours at the drama school, all very good classes. And one of my students gave me a present for Christmas, which was so sweet. It was this um, kind of really nice Waterford Crystal candles and soaps, which I always love getting that stuff at this time of year. So I was so thankful. And yeah, another day tomorrow, off we go. A very full day I have again tomorrow, which you will see if you are following with the vlogs this week. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.